What's up, everyone? It's uh, Little Big Robots. Uh, I am here with another little version of a big robot. Today, I'm looking at the very large package that contains the Melius Kimbu, Full Mechanics Melius Kimbu, 1 in 48 scale plastic model kit. Um, it was 62 bucks. Full mechanics means that you're going to have some interior details. Um, I, I'm so excited for this one because I saw it reviewed somewhere. And I thought, this is really cool. I need to buy this. But I wasn't sure and I didn't get it. And then I went back later and got it because I had to. Special edition, I believe, meaning that it's going to have this see-through or clear armor. I'm not a huge fan of clear armor. Or at least I should say I wasn't much in the past and then now I've really become a fan of it because when you get it in an effective way let me show you an example here when you when you get an effective example here for example this smoky gray kind of clear on this uh, number 57 uh, armored puppet it really has a nice um, look not always like the green I don't like that much the light green I really don't like um, but that smoky clear is really really nice we'll keep that here so we can use him as a sense of scale here so i will probably i'm going to cut out let's see i'm going to cut out a leg piece and we'll try a leg piece just because i wanted to see what that looks like i, I thought of leaving this on the sprue just because it's kind of a special thing i'll leave the rest of them on there for now um but anyway i this is a new animation that came out with sunrise from sunrise um it's kind of like a new uh, gunplay universe it doesn't have anything to do with gunplay as far as i know um, the mechs in this universe are smaller, so they're going to be uh, a smaller scale. So let me give you an example here. I actually have... Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. I actually have... You get here on the sprue the kid who pilots it. Here he's sitting, so you can put his other half together. I didn't assemble these because I'm not painting them yet. So that gives you an example, an idea of the scale. And as a matter of fact, back here in the back, as one of the many fantastic details you get, you get a cockpit. That's how he gets into the cockpit. All right, he gets into the, see, it's got the seat. It's got everything. I've learned to trust that you can probably, let me get a little more light going on just in case. There we go. I've learned to trust that you can see most of the details in these. Uh, the, my camera doesn't show it very well, but on the playback. So he, he literally sits in there. That gives you an idea of the scale. So humans like that. So they're not giant. And I actually prefer this scale over... I like Gunpla a lot, but I prefer this realistic scale over a Gunpla, which would be massive. You couldn't even build a Gunpla. If it was to walk around, it would probably just sink into the ground. You know, it's just too much weight. But this... Is something not only that but the design of it um, it has these unique legs where it's on one side and what's weird about that is I thought I didn't like it at first because it seemed weak or whatever it's meant to fold up and everything but if you see modern-day robots they often have a kind of a similar design so in some weird way this seems more like a futuristic robot that we could actually see one day a walking bipedal robot much more than a Gunpla or, you know, a, a, a Gundam, you know, that is, I don't know how tall that is, you know, persons what like that or whatever, you know, where it, it has a humanoid shape as far as it's on two legs and everything, but it's much more realistic in size and weight. Um, but also because this reminds us of current day technology, this one-sided See how the arm is on one side? It's not a two, you know, it's it's built off of the strength of this joint, these joints here. Because it's based off and reminds us of modern day, current day real technology, it makes it feel more futuristic because robots in our current year of 2022 are still something uh, in the future. I went ahead and put these stickers on. I absolutely love stickers like that, that are, and I'm looking for the instruction book. I don't know where I put it. Um, that has the rest of the stickers in it. I love these little, I mean, you can definitely see them. You can see the, the. I should say, you can see the texture of the, you know, you know it's a sticker. But when I, I've, dis, I've discovered that when you add those stickers, um, it really does add a lot to the kit if you're not going to paint it and stuff. So later, if you do decide to paint it, you're going to have to take them off and everything. Um, but just like this, it's, this has been, it's such a fun, interesting, refreshing model kit. 
Um, I, I build these fast. I've got a lot of reviews to do. I've got 20 something to do, um, you know, soon. So I build these really quick. So you're going to see a couple little, little gouge marks here and there because I just go really quick. But I think that's important too because I'm also showing you what it looks like whenever you are just, where is the, the instruction book? Whenever you're just going through it. Let me get the instruction book because I'm going to have to transform this guy. Okay, so here is the instruction manual. Um, and what here's the rest of the stickers. So I still actually have some to place on the upper places of the arms and stuff like that. I'll, I'll do that later because it definitely will look better with the details of those stickers. It just reads to your mind's. I mean, to your eye is a little bit, just a little bit tighter. You also put some on the guns and stuff. Gives it a nice little thing. But the general idea is that this guy here, on the smaller scale, this is a, I'll show you the truck here. This is the 172 scale line. So this is a truck, I'm getting ready to review this, so this will be up in a week or two or whatever. This guy on the smaller scale folds up and is transported, you can see there, by these trucks. That gives you an idea of the size as well. Um, and they're, still, they're pretty good size. I mean, these the people inside this truck are like can't, are barely up to the up to the bumper there. So they're not. It's not like people are not like that. People are tiny. So it's a pretty good size bot, but they get carried around like this. I'm not quite sure why. I haven't watched the anime yet. I need to find where to watch it. And they unfold and they fold up like that for ease of transportation and. For ease of like getting into it and stuff um, it's really everything's really nice and tight what's interesting about this arm design is you have essentially a double um, bend so because of that that interesting way that it's built you can actually get more range of motion with this unusual arm my only really uh, nitpick with this kit is the coloration the colors it reminds me of a chicken it's like a McDonald's the yellow and red I see so many Things use that color scheme and it drives me crazy. So what we want to do is see if we can transform it into the um, mode where it folds up. So you're going to take it like this. I've taken off the weapons. Do I take off the back? Take off the backpack, which I'll talk about the weapons in a second. They're nicely detailed. If that's your thing, it's not my thing really, but they're nicely detailed. So you you turn them around. Now it's it's kind of cool to look at this joint, the waist joint. It goes in here in here and out the back see that and then connects up so it's a really interesting i haven't seen a gun pull with this style of of waist connection so it goes in and down whether that's made for ease of transforming or whatever i don't know but it makes it for a really interesting um, um design and posability I, I've, I've never seen a gun pull really like that so we're going to turn it around like it says Turn it around, let's put it all the way in, here we go. Uh, okay, now it's it's backed up. We're going to then take it like this, fold these things up. So let's fold his little shoe parts up. That, whoop, do they fold up? Oh, fold them down, I'm sorry. So push them down. Uh, legs down, I don't know what that means necessarily. Head down. So I'm trying to follow along, see if you can follow along with me because this is kind of weird. And I'm doing it over the camera here. Uh, arms down. Let's point the arms down. Uh, and then fold them up like this. So arms down. Turn it, fold it up like this. Look at the hand. Isn't that hand a nice detail? And the thumbs move? It's not quite, quite master grade level of detail and gimmicks, but it's still got some stuff. The shoes, the feet go up. Sorry, I'm trying to do this while looking in the camera. So the feet go up uh, I guess it's about as far as they can go so maybe just to there see like that um, the legs fold up very simply so it's not crazy it's not going for a crazy transformation it's going for a, a, an ease of, of packing it you know like of packing it away um, the knees go up so, wait, I mean, it's not really doing much like that. I think that's about it. It's just really folded up. And I guess the idea is, I thought the idea was that he could get in there. Transformation to the park state. So that's what we're looking for. 
Yeah, basically. See, transform gimmicks I never really got into. Just because they often don't work. But I like this one again because it's quote unquote more realistic. Does that make sense? Because the idea here is that... Okay, so it is folded up like that. The idea is that I believe he can then come along and pop in here. Like that. Maybe he could slide in there and then it closes. I'm not real sure, but just that alone. And then this does this. So this is another interesting part. I haven't made the sword shield, the sword, the shield thingy yet. Where is the transformation? His backside does a cool, like a, an, an unboxing kind of style thing. Where was that? Anyway, the backside here will actually fold down like this. And then this part folds out. So you have, um, I guess, I can't remember what it's for. I guess this helps him get up in it. <laughs> okay, I'm not real sure. I'll have to read more about that. But let's just unfold it because it's a killer bot. Um, I enjoyed the build so much. It's just a really, really tight build. Um, it's super poseable, but it's not like, a, you know, crazy, you know, it's, it's poseable like a robot would be poseable. Um, which is good. I want something to be realistic. I don't want something to be absolutely athletic in, in like a humanoid, <laughs> like a complete human, like a guy from the Circuit Dose. I, I, this doesn't feel real to me. So I like that this could, you could see these things being used in also like construction and stuff and not just security and, and fighting. <clears throat> Again, I haven't watched the anime. If anybody knows out there knows how to watch it, let me know. But there's not much, you don't get much room, uh, range of motion in the ankles unless you do the foot. So if you're, if you're spreading out and you need the foot to go like that, it's the same concept, but this kind of is like the uh, Iron-Blooded Orphan's feet, which I really didn't like, that they rotated here instead of the whole thing. But it works. It definitely works. Um, and then, you, you know, you can do the toes. You can do some really pretty crazy stuff if you really needed to. Um, and it goes about as, as much as you um, would expect. What I like is that instead of skirt armor on the sides, which often gets in the way, you have to fold it up like this. It's like a flap. You, you have the skirt armor built in the leg. So this is protecting the interior of the leg more, just like a skirt would. So then it can do this, you know, it can do the crazy splits and whatever um, you wanted it to do. But it's, it, I just, I love the look of it. I don't like the color scheme much at all, but I really love the look of it. Um, you get these weapons. I haven't added any, um, I haven't added any stickers or anything, details to it, but you can see how um, easily you could make that look, um, you know, a really detailed with just even just a dry brush. What's cool about this is I've got this fist on here and you, you basically fold up the thumb and take off the fingers for a moment because it's not master grade or perfect grade or whatever where it has every little movable digit. And what's cool is you, you just slide that. It supports it like that. So the arm is, has that kind of little, oops, has that little, did I break that? Yeah, it broke, it fell early. Um, has that little gap in it, so it, it fits the, the butt of the gun. And then it has also a little a little uh, divot there to go in the gun. So let me see if I can get that in there without, yeah, see, I broke the barrel. Look at that, broke the barrel. So let me put that there. See if I can get the hand in there in the right place. Oh, it's not, it, uh, it. it the wrong way. Oh, yeah, sure, huh? let's see, huh? get in there. Why is it not getting in there? It's, oh, I got the finger in the wrong place, duh. And then you fold the thumb up. And then it's pretty pretty much as solid as a rock. And oh, and then I've got to put the fingers back, duh. So then you can put the fingers back on. Just like this. Da, 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 da. And see the arm, the gap there in the arm helps hold it without it's like it's designed to hold that, so it's very solid. You can do, you can't do crazy stuff um, all over, but you can definitely, you know, pose it in different areas. Um, fantastic! I love that design, and I love the fact that it's it looks feels like the weapon is supposed to kind of, you know, literally designed to fit there. Now you have this backpack. What's cool about the backpack is you can sling this stuff on it, on the back, like this. <laughs> Maybe the wrong way. No, no. Maybe do I do have the wrong way, duh. Do I? There. 
So, and then when he's, he's ready, it can sling it forward for him and he can grab it. But you can basically, I'm, I'm doing this all wrong. Forgive me. <laughs> I've got a lot of toys to review today and it just fits in the back there really. Maybe it goes the other way. I think it goes the other way. There it goes, it goes like that. So I've got that upside down, but it gives you an idea. You can use this backpack to hold the gun as well as the sword. Personally, I won't use it. I don't, I don't care for the weapons that much, but fantastic looking bot. I love how it feels. Um, these little stickers here are nice. They're just real subtle. I try to use uh, green everywhere. I did leave off this little section here because I wanted to show um, that it has these details inside the actual, um, you know, just everywhere that it's not necessarily details that you're going to see, you know, it's just details that are there. So I left off the little cap, uh, this little cap here. So it usually has a cap. And then what I wanted to do is I wanted to see if I went ahead and put the leg armor. Let's see if we can do that and see how the clear looks. So I'm gonna take this off. See how easy it is to disassemble too. With the Gunpla, you have a whole attached part. You can't just, you can't just uh, take that off. Do you know what I mean? So you pop that off there. Let's pop it off on this side first. So see the, 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 the interior is really basic. It's not a complicated build, but the details are fantastic. I mean, get this part off here. Ugh, this is gonna be really hard, I think. Maybe I can push here, here we go. Uh, uh, uh. Gotta push here. I picked the absolute worst. By the way, kid, you can do this to separate parts, put it in there and then spin it to the right, but do not force it. You're gonna stab yourself. I'm, a, I'm kind of a dork, so I'm, I'm, I'm you know, I'm experienced. <laughs> so don't do this at home, but I'm using it to basically wedge the part off. Okay, so. There we go. So put that back. Let's put the clear part on. This part needs to stay on, duh. So that part stays there. This part comes off. This part goes on. And of course I picked the wrong leg. Hey, ah, everything's falling apart. I'm gonna pop this off here. And let's pop that. I'm forgetting something, oh yeah, this goes here. So you get this cool clear look. I forgot where that goes, that goes here. Oops, it goes in there before I disassemble it. Boy, I am just doing wonders, aren't I, today? So that goes there. There. See how easy it is, though, to disassemble and reassemble? You're not really, it's not too much trouble. And then you get a cool clear part. Now imagine that clear part, so you can see in there, you imagine that clear part all over, all of the armor, which I didn't do, because I'm, I'm not gonna leave the clear part on, but it gives you a good idea of how that looks. I think that's fantastic that they included that. That's the special edition one. I don't know that if it has any other differences from a normal one, but for a basic model kit, I didn't know what this line was. I grabbed it because I saw it on review. I thought that looks pretty cool. Solid as hell. It's super fun to build. I absolutely love it. Um, I just wish the color scheme was a bit different, but this is this line. I'm really excited to build the uh, smaller scale ones as well, the 172s, because now I need to go figure out where to watch the anime, and then I can get used to the characters, and then I can buy all the kits. And this might be a line that I actually end up collecting every one of them because there's not too many, and it's kind of a new anime, and I like kind of getting it on the ground floor with stuff. But it, it's just fantastic. The gun's a little big, uh, but other than that, super cool. Not bad at all. Go go buy you one if you can. Was it worth 60 bucks? You know, I'm going to say yeah. Um, because for 80 bucks, I can get a, you know, a Joy Toy 1, uh, a Joy Toy 125th scale. And granted, that's already assembled and everything. But this um, is, it's a different vibe. You don't, you don't get more plastic. You just get a different kind of experience. So if you want something to just set on your shelf, yeah, the Joy Toys are great. But if you want a big mecha that doesn't break as much money, that doesn't break the, the bank as much as a Joy Toy, grab me one of these. 60 bucks, not bad. Really cool. Go buy one, everybody. Have a good one. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.